Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. So, we're here to uh, discuss lesson number four for engineering data analysis. Uh, this is continuous probability distribution. So, the content of uh, the file are continuous random variables and their probability distribution, the cumulative distribution for continuous random variable or probability distribution for continuous random variable, the continuous uniform distribution, the normal distribution, and its approximation to the binomial and Poisson distribution, which are uh, discrete random probability and the exponential distribution. So this is chapter four of Applied Statistics and Probability for Engineers by Douglas Montgomery and George Ronder for the sixth edition of the, the book. Okay, so let's start. So uh, as we have discussed pre from the pre pre previous lesson, uh, continuous random variables are random variables where it has an interval and at the given interval, there's an infinite set of uh, outcomes or values that you can identify. So, uncountable siya. They are used to measure physical characteristics such as height, weight, time, volume, position, etc. So, basically, yung height natin or yung weight, yung time, infinite yung values na pwedeng lumabas. Kunyari, sinabi mo, the height is between 5 met meters to uh, 6 meters. So, the values from 5 to 6, there's an infinite value in that range. Okay? For example, ng continuous random variables I let y be the height of a person. So, there's a, a lot of uh, real number uh, from the height. Okay? Let x be the volume of juice in a can. Let y be the waiting time until the next person arrive at the server. So, these values, kahit nasabihin natin may range ka, for example, sa height, 5 feet to 6 feet, there's still an infinite value between the 5 and the 6 feet. Value. Same with the volume and same with time. Okay? Now, for a uh, continuous random variable, the function that represents uh, values for this one is what we call the probability density function. And the probability density function has the following property. So, f of x is the probability density function is always greater than or equal to 0. Means that the function is always non-negative. And the integration of this uh, value from negative infinity to positive infinity is equal to 1. So, meaning kung kinuha nyo yung area under the curve, then this is equal to. So, this is an example of a probability density function. As you can see here, may kita nyo yung area under the curve. So, sa curve na to, the value of that function is equal to 1 or yung area under the curve. Then, if we want to get, erase ko lang, we want to get the probability of x at a given interval, a to b. So, this is just the area under the curve. This is just the integration of your f of x dx from a to b. So, ayun yung, yung interval. Ayan. So, area under the curve. So, kaya uh, prerequisite ng subject na to ang cal n2, which is your integral calculus. And when f of x is equal to 0, means that there is no area exactly x. Okay. Now, uh, this is a representation of the area under the curve. And if we have a value, for example, x1 to x2, pag inclusive pareho, the area under the curve is the same as kahit yung x2 lang yung kasama. Hindi naman magbabago yun. Kasi area under the curve. Ganun din kung ang x1 lang yung kasama. Or, uh, hindi kasama yung x1 and x2. Malinaw. For example, ito yung x1. Ito yung x2. So, basically, yung isang point na yan, 
usually sa point, wala namang area under up. Kaya, pag kinuha nyo yung probability of all of this, pare-pareho lang yan. Kung pareho yung value ng x1 and x2 sa, sa uh, integration. Okay, so let's have this example. Let the continuous random variable x denote the current measurement in a thin copper wire in milliamperes or MA. Assume that the range of value is of x is 4.9 to 5.1. And your f of x is this line. So equals to 5. So that's a, a horizontal line. Okay? Kasi constant siya. So what is the probability that a current is less than 5 milliampere. So this one, so the probability of your x is less than, not equal, ah, less than or equal, wala, less than 5 milliampere. So based sa integration natin, so the integration, so this one, the integration, this is integration of hanggang 5. So, less than 5, so negative infinity to 5, f of x, dx. Okay, so pag sinubstitute nyo yung mga value, plus, ang value ng x will be ranging para, para sa f of x. Other than that, 0 siya. So, meaning yung integration nito, uh, nahati siya sa... Uh, hindi na siya up to negative infinity but from 4.9 lang to 5. Ang f of x natin ay 5 and this is dx. Okay, so based from this one, so anong integration ng 5 dx? So this is just equal to integral, ah sorry. This is just equal to 5x evaluated from 4.9 to 5. O class, bakit hindi na from negative infinity? Kasi yung function na to, just for 4.9 to 5.1. So, less than 4.9, zero yung function natin. Hindi siya kasama. So, this one will be evaluated 5 times 5. So, 25 minus uh, 5 times 4.9 so that will be 24.5 so this is equal to 24 25 minus 24.5 point 0.5 okay this is milli ah sorry probability pala to so yes probability lang so point 0.5 okay Reason na din lahat. Ito yung answer. Plus, uh, for this case, pwede nyo na siyang i-type diretsyo sa calculator. Kasi may definite integration naman po. So, pag in-integrate nyo siya, 5, so this is uh, 4.9, tapos yung sa taas, 5, di ba? Nakikita nyo yan. So, kaya ng calculator nyo na mag-definite integration. So, integrate nyo lang that will be 1 half or 0.5 yung sagot. So, kaya, kaya na yan sa calculator. Now, paano naman kung within that range, yung 4.9 to 5.1, ano yung probability nyo? So, ganun lang din. So, integral ng 5 from uh, 4.95 to 5.1. So, the value is 0.75 or 3 po. Masusundan. Masusundan yung pag-integrate. So basically, this is just at the area under the curve for this uh, for this value. Ito lang yun. Yung area under the curve. Okay. Now, let's have this one. Uh, let the continuous random variable x denote the diameter of a hole drilled in a sheet metal component. The target diameter is 12.5 meters. Most random disturbance to the process result in large diameter. 
Historical data shows that the distribution of x can be modeled by probability density function, f of x. So, ang f of x natin, see that? f of x is 20. Ang exponent is e raised to negative 20 times x minus 12.5. Okay, that's f of x. And this value is only true when x is greater than or equal to 12.5. Other than that, wala kang function, wala kang value, zero. If a part with a diameter greater than 12.6 millimeter is scrap, A, what portion of part is scrap? Okay, so basically, yung A nyo, probability of x greater than, may equal sign ba? Walang equal sign. So, wala to. So, this is greater than 12.60. That's the probability. And letter B, what proportion of parts is between 12.5 to 12.6? So, the probability of x between 12.5 uh, to 12.6. Okay? Intindihan? Oh, sige. Paano to? So, basically, sabi natin, ang integration natin, this is greater than, so ito muna, yung una, or this one. So, this is uh, integration of 12.60 to infinity, kasi more than, f of x Okay. Now, yan yung integrate natin. Mali na. Susundan. So, from 12.6 to infinity, f of x dx. So, kaya ba siya sa calculator? Yung infinity? Walang infinity dito. So, kailangan yung mag-integrate. So, let's uh, utilize yung formula. Gamitin natin po. Let's have the integration. So, this is integration of 20 e to the negative 20 x minus 12.5. From 12.6 to infinity. So, uh, dx, that may be x then. So, let u equals negative 20 x minus 12.5. Is next. So, du will be negative 20 dx. So, basically, ito ay magiging integral. Uh, tanggalin muna natin yung definite. So, magiging tw negative 20. So, negative e to the u du. So, aling integral ng negative e to the u du? So, negative lalabas e to the u lang yan. And evaluated from x is equal to uh, 12.6 and x is equal to uh, infinity. So, i-substitute nyo yung u dito para ma-integrate siya. So, tanggalin natin yan. So, negative e negative 20 x minus 12.5 evaluated from 12.6 to infinity. Okay, so, pag uh, evaluate so this will be infinity lang to, negative e to the negative infinity minus negative, so magiging plus e to the 12.6, so calculator, so 12.6 minus 12.5, that's point 0.1 times 20. So, 2. Negative 2. This is negative 2. Okay. So, ang sagot. So, e to the negative infinity. So, anong sagot dyan? It's 0. 
0 lang. Tama? And this will become E. So, alpha lang E raised to negative. So, this is 0 0.135. Okay. Let's go back dun sa slide. So, erase ko na po lahat. Erase all. So, tingnan natin kung tama. Okay. So, tama. 0 0.135. Okay. So, yung susunod, yung 12 point. Letter B, let's have uh, this one. Uh, probability ng x from 12.5 to 12.6. So, integration lang siya ng f of x dx from 12.5 to 12.6. Ito yung f of x natin. So, i-type nyo lang sa calculator. So, uh, integral ng 20, uh, alpha ng e, yung 10 times, yung ito, yung nasa baba ng, ng calculator. Raise to uh, negative 20 parenthesis alpha ng x minus 12.5 parenthesis. Then, yung integration 12.5 to uh, 12.6. So, pag in-equal sign nyo, pag in-integrate nyo, dapat uh, 0.865 yung sagot. So, ayun yung sagot. Okay, now, so ito yung integration. Kung titignan nyo, Sa screen, uh, 12.6, 20, raise to, e raised to 20, negative 20, x minus 12.5. Okay? And that will be the answer. Okay. So, we'll end here.